hey Instagram, we're talking all about my brand new Neverland retelling today and I am so incredibly excited because I'm showing you character art. I'm going to bring you behind the scenes of the story and tell you exactly how you can get your hands on it because it's out today. You're welcome. Now, uh, Rescue from the Neverland Isle is a serialized story. It is over on Kindle Vela, which means you can access it through the Kindle app or you can access it through the desktop on Amazon. Because it is a very weird, soft rollout, they are super glitchy and not everybody can get access to everything. I have put out the first five chapters for you. The first three are free and they've only put up the first two at last I checked. So we're just kind of rolling with the punches when it comes to Amazon, but we are going to be dropping this for you. So you can access the first two chapters right now. Those are free. The third chapter will also be free. Then you're going to be paying via coin. So it's very much like Webtoon or Radish where you buy a handful of coins for very cheap. It's like a two or three hundred for like two bucks. It's real cheap. Um, and by the time you get done paying for someone's story, it's the equivalent of like an ebook, maybe, um, usually less, like a lot less. Let's just be honest. It's like the equivalent of reading on Radish. And so you will have the ability to read this story. I'm so excited for this one. And I'm going chapter by chapter with this so that you can actually have input in what happens. So I'm a couple chapters ahead of you. I'm going to let you help me decide. Do these characters make out? Does one of them die? Is there some kind of love triangle? Like you get to cast your votes and you get to have a say in this. And I'm really excited because you're going to actually be able to inform this. So you will be able to leave comments on the story. You can upvote it. The more you upvote it, the more it will go to the favorites category, which means I'll get more reads, which means I'll get paid more, which means I can do more things like this. I'm so excited, but we're going to jump in. We're going to talk about the characters because I've got art to show you and all the good things. Now, quick notice, um, this is a little bit covered in lines. It's because my printer went all wonky on me this morning. This is not what the cover looks like. Please don't think it, this is what it looks like. It's pretty. <laughs> let's go ahead and let's take a look at some of this. I'm excited that you're all here and joining. Let me know, are you excited for Rescue from the Neverland Isle? We're going to be talking all about that today. And I am going to pull up. Here we go. Oh, I blocked your face. Well, that's okay. Let's take a look at this because I'm really excited. So we've got the bones up in her hairpiece. I definitely kicked something. Sorry. We've got the, uh, oh, the, the, Oh my goodness, I'm blanking on the word. Someone help me. There's the key necklace, like all the things, the chandeliers, the smoke, the dust, the all the good stuff. Um, and I'm very excited for this. I'm going to real quick read the blurb to you because it's really good. Kept alive by an unrelenting shadow spirit, Neverland is thriving under the care of Peter Pan as he sacrifices the young boys he steals and turns into crocodiles to his master. On a floating island filled with gaudy wonders and inhabitants, Wendy must find and free her brothers and as many lost boys as she can. Enlisting the help of the captain of the army, her childhood best friend, Jameson, and his deadly hook that's barely sharper than his silver tongue and flirtatious ways, she must face a dark world of spies, assassins, and spirits, all trying to stop their team from extracting the boys and ending Pan's reign of tyranny. But his secret connection to Wendy might just be her undoing. On an island that's as deadly as its people, Wendy only has one chance to save them all and make up for the mistakes of her past. So this is what we're talking about today. I am so excited. Um, the first couple of chapters are out now, and this might just be the best thing I've ever written, or at least top of what I've ever written. I am loving the storyline. I'm loving what's happening. This is N.A. instead of Y.A. So we all, we're getting a little, a little bit on the spicier side, but you get to decide if I go spicy or just spicier. I'm excited for it. So let's go ahead and let's take a look. Let's meet some of our characters. I'm gonna pull this up for us. I'm going to choose a different asset. And uh, first up, we're gonna meet Wendy. Hello to Wendy. She is our leading lady and she is off to Neverland to save her brothers. So her brothers have been kidnapped and we are on a mission with her. We're from her point of view on this one and she is working with Jameson who is our Captain Hook. And we learn very early on that Wendy has a little bit of a dark past. And great fashion. Like, I'm so excited for this one. So this is my Wendy. Let's go ahead and we are going to meet Jameson, who is, oh my gosh, this man. This is Jameson. He is my Captain Hook. Um, we learn very early on why he has a hook and who exactly gave it to him because it's not who you think. And he is the most flirtatious character I've ever written, period. And you know I write the flirtiest men ever. 
there's a lot going on here. This man, I think in this in the seven chapters that I've written, he has maybe six or seven lines that are not pickup lines. He makes me giggle like Phoebe giggles over Joey in Friends. So I'm really excited for you to meet him. He's gorgeous and he's so flirty. It's friends to lovers, but like there's also room for a love triangle, which we'll get to in a minute. Let's go ahead and let's meet the fabulous Peter Pan. This is our villain, and as you can see, he's starting to grow some scales on his face. This is because he is kidnapping these boys, turning them into crocodiles, and sacrificing them to his master to keep his floating island alive. He is trading the lives of these young boys for youth for his island. The inhabitants are very Hunger Games capital style people. So we're talking like massive headdresses and, and huge outfits and like just so much gaudiness going on with this. And you're going to meet them very early on and then keep meeting them throughout the course of the story. And Pan, his whole world just revolves around making these people inspired by him and, and they have to stay youthful and he has to stay youthful and he's sacrificing these boys, but also he's sacrificing a little bit of himself and there's so much that goes into this. So you're going to meet Peter very early on and then we got some fun stuff going on with him. So I'm very excited for you all to meet my Pan and his fashion. Hello. It's very interesting. Next up, we are going to be meeting uh, someone I'm incredibly excited to write more of. This is Smee, and you were going to learn early on that Smee is a bit of a double agent. He was planted by Jameson's father for the army to go into Neverland and be a spy. Now, they haven't really had connection with him since he was sent there, but he has been working on their behalf inside of Neverland and has actually kind of um, transformed himself into being able to work for Pan without being suspected. There have been a number of spies sent into the Neverland world. Nobody has come out and not many have made it. So it's very, very interesting. He is absolutely gorgeous. He is very, very also flirtatious. Uh, and so this is a potential little love triangle for us. So I'm excited. Let me know. Do y'all want that love triangle? Dang, all the swoony men. Yes, he's super fun too. He is cute. I know, I know, all the good things. After this, we are going to go ahead and we're going to meet real quick Echo. Echo is very interesting. I am so excited to write more of Echo's story. We meet her a little bit in the first couple of chapters of this story. She is our resident mermaid in the lagoon. She is the one who tries to drown Wendy, and we'll find out why when you get to that chapter. But she is um deadly and so much fun. She's so much fun. I love it. We then have, let's go with Michael. Uh, so we have Wendy's brothers, Michael, and we've got John. Michael is obviously the younger one. He tries very hard to be brave in Neverland, and he tries the best he can to help out, especially with his brother. We do have John, who is slightly older. Both, again, are much younger than Wendy and have been kidnapped by Pan to be turned into crocodiles to be sacrificed. So there's a lot going on here. And he definitely tries to lead and tries to help and like tries to go with the big boys. Um, so he's a lot younger than some of the men or the boys, I guess, that Pan has kidnapped on the island. But he tries to play in the big leagues and he tries to help out as best as he can. And then, of course, we do have our final character we're going to be taking a look at today. This is Lily. And you will not meet Lily for a while. It's going to be a hot minute before we meet Lily. But she is very, very interesting in that she works for Peter Pan and she's a shifter. So you will see her in different forms throughout the course of the story. I'm very, very excited for you to meet her. I'm very excited to meet her. There's a lot going on with this one. And I bet you're probably wondering, but what about Tinkerbell? What about, what about our fairy? Well, that's a bit of a spoiler. So I'm not going to tell you anything. You will have to read and see where you can find her inside of the story. But it is a good twist. Oh, I'm excited. I am excited for that one. So we've got a lot going on with this particular story. There's so much that goes into it. And if you want to learn a little bit more about the characters, you can head over to the World Portal. I sent it out in my newsletter this morning. You can see all this character art. You can see other amazing artwork of these characters, like, like if you want to see my couple 
together being all cute. I got it. I got it over there. You can see the lagoon. You can get all the vibes of the story. I'm so excited. It's on the World Portal. Go check it out. And so we've got a lot going on inside of this story. And like I said, this is a serial story. So it's being dropped chapter by chapter. The first five chapters were supposed to be out today, but Amazon hasn't done it yet. So the first two chapters are out right now. You'll be able to get the rest the second that they actually approve those files. And then it will be chapter by chapter. So next week, you're going to get chapter six, then chapter seven. And I'm spacing it out so that you get to have input in what happens. I'm going to be listening to your comments. I'm going to be listening to what you want to see more of and what you want to see less of. You can decide are they going to kiss? Are they going to break up? Is there going to be a love triangle? Are we going to get a little on the spicier side for this? You're going to be able to make those decisions with me or at least help to inform those decisions. So I'm only going a couple of chapters ahead of where you are. So if you're getting chapter up to chapter five today, I'm on chapter seven now. I'm only slightly ahead of you so that I can implement the things that you want to see. You don't want a character to die? You might be able to save them. You're tired of a character? <laughs> you might be the reason I kill him off. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm very excited for it. And again, Vela has dropped today. That is Kindle Vela. It is hosted by Amazon. You can find it by going to the Kindle app. You can, and it's just the normal Kindle app, or you can go to the desktop version, but it's a very slow, weird glitchy rollout. And with this, unfortunately, not everybody has access to all the stories. Some people have been able to access mine on the app. Some people have not. I got nothing. I have no idea what's going on with this one. So we're just rolling with the punches when it comes to Amazon because yay Amazon and we're doing the best that we can and you're actually going to inform how long this story is. So if I get a lot of people reading it, a lot of interaction, it's going to be a longer story. If I don't get a ton, it might be a shorter story. We'll see how it goes. Now good news, this will be in book form after the entire story is put out on Kindle Bella. They do have um, a clause inside of their contract with it. So 30 days after the last episode goes up, I will be able to put this out into the world in book form. So you can hold the physical copies, which I'm very excited about. But again, you get to help make those decisions. And if you're somebody who's super vocal, if you're somebody who's super vocal about it and you do help to decide what I'm going to be doing next, if you're like a super fan of this story, you're probably going to get a shout out in the acknowledgments of the book form of Rescue from the Neverland Isles. So I'm really, really excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's so much foreshadowing inside of this cover here. There's so much foreshadowing inside of the early chapters. This may, again, be the best thing I've ever written, or at least in the top best things that I've ever written. I love, love, love Wendy and Jameson and like all the good things. So We've got a lot going on with this one. You can go check out those first two chapters and the following three chapters as soon as Amazon gets their acts together and puts it out there. It's just sitting there waiting for you. It's just Amazon. And so you'll be able to read those right away. And then next week, chapter six comes out. Chapter six, by the way, if you like Wendy and Jameson, chapter six is your chapter. I'm so excited. I can't wait for you to read these. I can't wait for you to get to know the characters. I can't wait for you to see more of this. It is going to be so fun for me to be able to interact with you as we are writing this. And I am thrilled to pieces to see what's going to happen. Uh, yay for book shout outs. I love that we get to help. I'm really looking forward to the interaction. Me too. It's going to be so good. And I get to leave author notes at the end of each chapter as well. So fun things. I might leave some uh, secret Easter eggs in there. All I'm saying is this is going to be a fun and wild ride, and I'm so excited that you're coming on this journey with me. Go ahead and check out Rescue from the Neverland Isle right now. Please make sure you're upvoting it. You're giving the thumbs up. You're liking it. You're leaving comments, assuming they have actually activated the comments. I don't know. And you are voting for it as your favorite. Every week you get to vote for a favorite. When you vote for a favorite, I go to a, if I get enough, I go to a leaderboard, which helps me to get more views, which helps me to make more money, which helps me to be able to continue writing. So you can help your girl out by talking about this on all the socials. You can get your friends involved in all of this. This is cheaper than buying the ebook form. Um, it's like the equivalent of reading a book on Radish, so it's going to be very cheap once you have to start buying coins. First three chapters are free, remember, and all the good, fabulous, wonderful things. So I'm really excited for this. Go check out the World Portal. Go read the first couple chapters of the story. Do all the upvoting things because right now, and I'm going to tell you all a secret, there, there has not been the most up and up 
people getting on the board. Not that it's necessarily their fault, but Amazon has kind of rigged the system a little bit. So right now, um, a lot of people can't get on those leaderboards. So you got to go help us out. You got to go do the thumbs up and the voting and like all the things so that we can get our story seen. <sighs> And on that note, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you being here. I hope that you are loving Rescue from the Neverland Dial. If you need the direct link to the Kindle Vela version of this, please DM me. I'll send it to you. I know people, some people can search the title and find it. Some people cannot. So send me a DM and I'll send you the direct link so you'll be able to access this. And you can do all the fun things. And we'll do all the great things with this. The character art, the behind the scenes, the videos, the live readings, like mm, all the things. All right, friends, I will see you in our next live stream. We're here every single Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern and every single Friday on TikTok at 3 p.m. Eastern, as well as some prizes on all the social platforms, including YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic day. Stay inspired and get your hands on the beginning of Rescue from the Neverland Isles. And let me know, are you loving it? Do we need a love triangle? Are you Team Jameson or are you Team Smee? I'll see you in the comments.